Workers who operate, service, or repair machinery or equipment should be aware of the hazards they pose. Any powered machinery or electrical equipment that may accidentally move and cause an injury should follow an established lockout tagout procedure. Failing to lock out and tag out equipment may result in electrocutions, amputations, and other serious, sometimes fatal accidents. If you are tasked with maintaining, servicing, or cleaning equipment, you must be trained and follow your employers. Lockout tagout process when performing these tasks. Lockout tagout is a safety procedure used to ensure that dangerous machines are properly shut off and not able to be restarted before the completion of maintenance or servicing work. The lockout aspect of the procedure involves physically locking the machine or equipment in a safe position so that it cannot be operated. While the tagout component involves attaching a lock and visible tag to the equipment, indicating that it should not be operated until the lockout has been removed by an authorized person. The lockout tagout procedure is designed to prevent accidental startup of machinery or equipment that may harm or injure workers performing maintenance or repairs. Let's review a couple definitions before we get started. Authorized employee. An authorized employee is one who is trained to perform lockout tagout procedures and is authorized to do so. Affected employee refers to an employee who operates or works near equipment that is undergoing maintenance or servicing. Energy isolating device. This is a mechanical device that physically prevents the transmission or release of energy, including but not limited to a circuit breaker, disconnect switch, valve, or plug. Energy source. Refers to any source of electrical, mechanical, hydraulic, pneumatic, chemical, thermal, or other energy. Lockout. Refers to the use of a lock to hold an energy isolating device in the off position. Tag out. The use of a tag to warn employees not to start or use equipment that is undergoing maintenance or servicing. Next, we will discuss the preparation and notification when performing a lockout tagout procedure. First, notify all affected employees that a lockout tagout procedure will be implemented. Following the manufacturer's shutdown instructions, identify all energy sources that need to be isolated and the equipment that will be locked and tagged out. Next, obtain the necessary lockout tagout equipment, such as locks, tags, and lockout devices that are needed. Ensure that all employees involved in the procedure are trained and authorized to perform the lockout tagout process. The next step is to de-energize the equipment. This means shutting down the source of energy. When shutting down the system, use the correct procedure outlined by the manufacturer and use the appropriate switches. Next, the authorized employee must attach the lockout tagout device to the energy isolation point and secure it in place. Remember to note your information on the tag so the owner can be identified in case of an emergency. When the equipment has been successfully de-energized, verify that all energy sources have been effectively isolated by testing the equipment controls and switches. At this point, you can notify all affected employees again that the equipment is locked and tagged out and should not be operated until the procedure is complete. Now, it's safe to conduct any servicing or repairs on the machine or equipment. After the machine has been serviced, remove all tools and equipment from the area and ensure all authorized and affected employees are safely away from the machine. Then remove the lockout tagout devices and test the equipment to ensure it is in safe operating condition. After the repairs are complete and the system is back in operating condition, notify all affected employees the procedure is complete and that the equipment can be utilized. When servicing or maintaining dangerous equipment, it's important to follow your company's lockout tagout procedures for your safety and to maintain a safe and healthy working environment. To learn about the specific lockout tagout process for your company, Contact your supervisor or safety department. Thanks for your attention. And have Did you know that in 2020, a study conducted by the Associated Builders and Contractors found that daily safety toolbox talks lead to a remarkable 82% reduction in total recordable incident rates compared to those conducted monthly? The study shows that the frequency of toolbox talks directly correlates with incident rates. Consistent safety toolbox talks lead to less accidents, which is why many companies this year are using Safely EO to create and schedule these talks weeks and months in advance, so your team will be consistently reminded of the job hazards and safety protocols. You get access to Safely EO's Toolbox Talk library that comes with hundreds of text-based and video-based toolbox talks that covers any industry. The Toolbox Talk app makes it easy for your employees and supervisors to consume safety talks from their own mobile devices and acknowledge its completion at the click of a button. All completed safety talks are tracked and the data can be exported and available for use. The platform digitizes your safety talks process so you can focus on what really matters 
keeping your team safe and informed. Don't wait until it's too late. Workplace incidents can cost your company millions in liability, lost productivity, and damaged reputation. To learn more, just click the link in the description of this video to request a quick demo.